Hola, mi nombre es Emanuel Badillo. Hello, my name is Emanuel, ba Emanuel Badillo. Uh, soy mexicano. I'm Mexican. Nací en el estado de Tamaulipas. I uh, was born in Tamaulipas. Uh, mi vida de niño fue un poco dura. My childhood was a little bit rough. Ya que perdimos a nuestra madre cuando teníamos ocho años when, de edad. When I was eight years old, I lost my mom. Y estuvimos prácticamente sin, sin madre eh, nuestra niñez. We were practically without our mother in our childhood. Uh, nos envolvimos en, en diferentes cosas, creciendo en el barrio. We started getting involved in different things in our hood. Aprendiendo eh, cosas malas. Learning bad things. Fumar, fumar. Smoke, drink. Drogarse. Doing drugs. Eh, y este... Esa fue mi niñez. And that's, that was basically my childhood. Estuve por tres años este, internado en una casa hogar. For three years I was in a home. En una uh, foster house que le llaman. It was like a foster home. Este, y estuve ahí por, por, este, por rebelde. I was there because I was a rebel. Porque no aceptaba ninguna corrección. Because I didn't accept correction. Y en el transcurso de la vida, mi vida, uh, mi corazón se fue llenando de amargura. And through my life, my heart was starting to get full of uh, bitterness. Empecé a ser un muchacho rebelde. Started uh, becoming this rebellious kid. Eh, un muchacho eh, amargado. A, a, a bitter child. A los, a los uh, 13, 14 años ya estaba empezando a... At the age of 13 and 14. A usar droga. I started using drugs. At the age of 15, I came to the United States. And I came here with one of my brothers. Started working. And my life continued the same. I just wanted a better future. But nothing changed. Everything was the same. My brother had problems uh, the same as me. So before knowing Jesus, I was just uh, full of hurt. A lot of questions in my mind as to why is it that I live this way? If there was a God, why did I live this way? Y este, hasta que una vez alguien me invitó a la iglesia. Someone then invited me to church. Mi hermano se, se convirtió a Cristo. My brother got saved. He gave his life to Jesus. Y tuvo un tremendo cambio. And he had a great change in his life. De exterior e interior. From the outside and the inside. Y él me, me invitó a la iglesia. So he invited me to church. Yo recuerdo cuando él me invitó. And I remember when he invited me. Eh, yo dije, quizás eso es para ti. Aquí I said, maybe that's for you. You know, that helped you out. Pero dije yo, quizás para mí no. But. No no, it's not going to help me out. But when he invited me, he invited me with a lot of hope. And I remember I prayed a prayer in the secret place in my heart. I said, God, if you're real, change me. If you're real, transform me. And after two weeks, I ended up in church. They were preaching. They did an altar call. And I raised my hand. The sermon that we're preaching touched my heart. Touched my life. And from that time on, I, my life changed and it was different. The bitterness left me. The hatred that was in me left me. And I didn't need to continue in drugs. And I experienced a peace, a genuine peace in Jesus. And I give thanks to God for the transformation that he made in my life. It's a new life in Jesus. And that's what I have. And that's what you can have. We are now in uh, Taylorsville, pastoring. God has called me to preach his word. And I never thought that I would preach his word. But now we're in Taylorsville, we're preaching this hope that helped us. And I want to invite everyone that you visit us. Visit the Door Christian Fellowship in Taylorsville. And you're going to find the family there. And uh, testimonies there. 
of how Jesus can change your life. He can give you hope and give you eternal life. God bless you. My name is Emmanuel Badillo. We are pastoring in Taylorsville, the Door Christian Fellowship, Taylorsville, 1936 Highway 16. You can uh, contact me at this number, 336-302-07-34. God bless you.